Commander. What can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Commander. What can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'd been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but... I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best genes money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. You always bring up your genetic tailor. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, 
even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. Wait a minute. Are you jealous? Don't be absurd. The genetic mutt that the elusive man put in charge. That must stink. First, it's not a competition. Second, based on your combat records, you're practically a perfect bloody human specimen. Perfect human specimen, huh? Don't get cocky. I'm the one who put you back together, remember? And I do damn good work. You certainly do. What the hell was that? Okay, this doesn't mean anything. We just... God, I need to think. I need... I'll talk to you later. And stop smiling, damn it. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? I wondered when you'd come back. Listen, whatever happened was a simple mistake, nothing more. I don't know what this is. If this is stress, or just blowing off steam, or... What are you so afraid of? You might actually start caring for somebody? This is no time for emotional entanglement. You and I know more about the Collectors than anyone. We know how unlikely it is that we're coming back alive. What idiotic bunch of hormones thought that now was a great time for love? It doesn't matter. What matters is how we feel. Damn it. Come on, Miranda. You want this. Yeah, I do. So don't die. You promised me, damn it. I died once already. I don't plan to do it again. Give me some time. When I'm ready, I'll come by, okay? Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Always. I'm dealing with a few loose ends for Cerberus. We haven't had much free time lately. But I haven't forgotten our earlier discussion. I think we're crazy, but I haven't forgotten. Assuming you're still interested. Oh, I'm definitely interested. Glad to hear it. I'll be by the next time things are quiet. Oh, pardon me, Commander. I've cleared the engine room. I'll be there in five minutes. I should have known you wouldn't settle for the captain's quarters. I settle for nothing but the best. Shepard, it's so good to finally see you. You too, Miranda. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? 
We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard, am I still part of your plan? It's been so long I wasn't sure where we stood. Miranda, things are never going to be easy for us. But I'll always want you in my life. No second thoughts? This is your chance to back out. No. It was hard to be away from you. Surprised myself how attached I got. I'm not good at attached. Just stay close from now on, all right? I wish I could. I really do. But there's something I need to deal with. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I knew you'd want to help, and I'm grateful. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. Did you try to contact me when I was back on Earth? A visit by the former Cerberus second-in-command would have been disastrous. Any kind of secret communication would have looked even worse. I was tempted to break in and see you. That would have been... tough to explain. Right. Fun and games till they arrested me or just shot me on sight. I had to play it safe. For both of us. I understand. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Shepard. Thank God you're all right. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I wanted to see you in person. It's better this way. The Citadel is a mess right now. It sounds like it. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. 
We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. You'll find her. I know you will. Okay. I better get going. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. You'll have your access, Miranda, but I don't like the sound of this. I know, and thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? I told you, it's crazy. It's not crazy. Well, maybe a little crazy. Shepard. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. You brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Miranda, we're both under so much pressure to be perfect. We never give ourselves a break. We can't give ourselves a break. There's too much at stake. Hey. Yes. Come here. Oh? Still impatient, Commander? Still trying to maintain control, Miss Lawson? Trying. But failing. Good. I'm almost out of moves. I'm not. Shepard! Uh, Commander Shepard. Ah! Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? All right. Take her. <clears throat> but I want out alive. Deal. Ah! No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? 
It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Shepard. I can't believe it's you. We caught a break. I'm just glad we got here in time. As am I. Never saw myself as a damsel in distress. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up in Kai Ling. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. You broke into a fortified Cerberus lab while it was being attacked by Reapers. I think you did okay. I needed to find Ariana. Nothing was going to stop me. You found her. And I found you. That's all that matters. Did you worry? Of course I worried. It was nothing I couldn't handle. I know. At least Oriana is safe. Yes. I just wish she didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes. You can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? Research data is gone, but we've got basic facility information. Shuttle arrivals and departures. Cerberus included. No direct links, but it's a start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. A tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. <sighs> Not quite, but... <sighs> Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is... exactly what we need. <sighs> thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I've got to follow all this up. Shepard. Promise me you'll be careful. I can't do that, Miranda. <laughs> I know. Bastard. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communications, Grambler. Disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortex, by my father, Cortex, we need Henry to pick Wilson. up at the tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. Sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, 
they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Hmm. I'm afraid you'll need to convince me. This is a crazy life, isn't it? Yes, it is, Shepard. Yes, it is. Miranda? You clean up well, Shepard. Thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. I have to say I'm a bit surprised. I thought you might be. I can be... Uh, <laughs> severe. You're focused. Believe me, I understand. I was thinking about our talk earlier. About having a normal life. Damn, I'm not very good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Oh, I've got some ideas. Miranda, you're here. You're beautiful. Would I have you to myself? So tonight, I'm just gonna be a regular guy taking his best girl out on the town. No space heroes or super spies? Nope. Just bright lights, a few games, and some very foolish choices. Agreed? <laughs> Agreed. I'm gonna need more wine. Get this woman more wine. You're pretty sexy when you're pushy. What now? Let's spin the wheel, see what happens. The odds are against us, you know. Maybe. But I've got a good feeling about this. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. When you're finished playing host, come find me. You won't regret it. My turn to watch you sleep. I never watched you sleep. Liar. <laughs> Got me. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy!
Oh, what a night. But look who's here. Hey. Good morning. I love watching you wake up. Let's make that a habit. As you wish, Miss Lawson. Let's see if anyone else is up. someone else I can connect you to? Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, good to see you. Hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard, I, I wanted to say goodbye. What do you mean? If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change. But on our terms, we've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. I just... wish I was there. With you. Me too. I don't know what to say. Don't say goodbye. Then finish this, Shepard. And find me. I will. I promise.